Hi guys. Um, wanted to get this video out there. It is kind of a video I've been wanting to do for a little while. Please excuse my hair. I still have not uh, completed it. <laughs> it's a mess. Anyway, um, who said these buns were easy? Yeah. <sighs> Nothing's easy. <laughs> um, okay, so this video is, like I'm sure you read the title, My Favorite Lipsticks. Um, I have uh, wandered out into the world of different colored lipsticks. For a very long time, uh, I've been wearing a lot of nudes, light pinks, anything that is lighter. And uh, this has been pretty much my whole makeup wearing uh you know, life. So lately I have been kind of, you know, like I said, going out there and trying different things. And what a better time to do it when you're my age. So uh, when you have a little more time to experiment with makeup and whatnot. So I'm going to show you my all-time favorite uh, lipsticks. There aren't very many of them. But, uh, nonetheless, I'm going to show you. So, the one that I'm wearing right now, this one is by Revlon. And, actually, yeah, I love Revlon lipsticks. Love them. Uh, for the longest time, probably three years, the only lipstick that I wore was called Nude Attitude. And it is a matte lipstick by Revlon. They still sell it. It's a great nude. Um... Actually, we won't start with the one I'm wearing because we'll hop right on over to the other nude that I um, jumped to from the nude attitude. And uh, I can't remember exactly what number that one is, but um, the nude attitude was my favorite. It was a peachy nude and still is. If you go grab it, it's, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It doesn't dry your lips out too much. Um, does have a tendency to dry them out a little bit, but not too bad. Um, the next one that I'm going to swatch all of these as well, and it's probably going to have, uh, I'll have pictures at the end, hopefully. Um, this one is by Maybelline, came out earlier this year, or in 2012 rather. It is 860, and it is called Smooth Taupe, and it looks like that on the end. This one was with the color Sensational. Um, can't remember exactly what it was called, but it's it's definitely a nude. Uh, I've gone through three of these at least, and on it you probably won't be able to see it. It is a absolute nude. Hopefully you can see it. It's gorgeous. It doesn't white your lips out, you know that concealer look. Definitely not. I do like that look. But really only when I'm, you know, have more color to my skin. So tanned, and I don't really tan. Uh, when I'm using more bronzer. Okay, so that was that one. And like I said, it was called Smooth Taupe, number 860. And if you're looking for a really great uh, nude, it is a pinky nude. And just, ugh, it's beautiful. It glides on very smoothly. It is a satin finish, definitely. It's just a wonderful, uh, long wearing, actually, satin lipstick. And Maybelline, Maybelline is amazing. They have totally stepped up their game. Um, there are a couple other lipsticks that I bought with the same collection. It was Porcelain Pink and Flawless Fuchsia. And I'll show you those, but they aren't my favorites. Definitely not. Well, I mean, they're favorite colors, but they're not favorite on, you know, on me. So that's what they look like. And of course, they're these gorgeous, gorgeous, oh, stunning colors. They just don't look very good on me. Maybe spring, summer, I might give those a try again. But until then, not this season. So the next one, I'll start with the lip that I have on. This one is called 657 Fuchsia Fusion, Fuchsia, Fuchsia Fusion. 
my sister bought this and it was sitting in her bathroom uh, on the counter when I went to her house one day and I said oh my gosh this is beautiful um, you know roll it up as people snoop in other people's bathrooms I really don't unless it's you know my sister or my mom's makeup or something um, I think I'll probably always do that if it's sitting on the counter you know swatch a couple wings here or there. <laughs> Um, anyway, this one was something she wasn't even wearing that day. It looks like this. Does not look, um, it's not, I, I wouldn't say it's a fuchsia. It's kind of a mix. It's a bluer tone fuchsia. Let's call it that. And, um, it has some really beautiful pearlescent, uh, tones to it. I'm going to show you on my hand. This is a pearl finish lipstick. It's gorgeous. I love this. I asked her, can I try this on? She said, yeah, of course. And uh, as soon as I looked at myself in the mirror, I said, oh my gosh, I need to have this. It's just stunning on. Hopefully, like I said, I'll include pictures. But it's such a wearable lipstick especially this type of color so that is fuchsia fusion and like i said it's 657 uh, this is from the super lustrous lipstick collection and it's revlon i have a major love for revlon oh and the um lip liner that i uh, put on with this the other lipsticks can pretty much you know any darker lip liner but this one because it is so pink I use the lip liner pencil by NYX in 816 fuchsia and I don't think you can really see that very well so I'm just gonna put that liner right beside and it's a little off it's a little lighter than the actual lipstick but that's okay it definitely blends when you get it on your lips Okay, and on to the next one. Um, these, now this one I like, but it's very, very dark. Almost like um, a color that you really, I don't know, you really got to be going somewhere specific to wear this one. Um, it is called, it's by Revlon, of course, and it is a matte lipstick, 010, so 010. And it's called Wine Knot, and it looks like this. It is very dark. And this is the end. And I'll swatch that one. It is a, like a very deep, deep red purple, like a wine, of course, Wine Knot. And it, in the evening, unless you're up close, looks almost black. It's a really beautiful, uh, what finish is this? Super lustrous again, lipstick. So um, it goes on very smoothly, not drying at all. It is a brownie red. And um, not everybody can get away with this, but a lot of people can. I would say olive to dark skin tone, not too dark. But olive skin tone will probably be the best or um, very, very light, like porcelain skin color would be beautiful. The next two are also, no, these aren't by Revlon. These are the Rimmel. I'm surprised that I bought Rimmel lipsticks. I don't usually. I want to sometimes because the colors are great. But um, yeah, usually the, the finishes aren't very attractive on me. They're way too slippery. But these two I picked up at the beginning of the year. I think I, I think I took a picture and put it on my Facebook. If you guys don't know my Facebook yet, add me at Lana Anonymous. Yeah, um, pretty unique, hmm? uh, original. So um, yeah, I put it up there, but didn't end up wearing it until just recently because you know it's fall winter now. So this one is. 04 and it's the lasting finish by Kate lipstick and it is looks like this and it's the one with the Kate Hudson uh, Kate Hudson yeah I think so 
I hope so. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> anyway, it has the Kate there. And it is an extremely dark purple. This one is closer to black than anything I've ever worn other than black. I think when I was a teenager, I did end up wearing black lipstick. So I'm going to put this one right at the end and you'll see how dark this is. You can wear this with any lip, lip liner that is dark, dark brown, dark wine, anything, purple, black even. This one definitely is that very, very dark, trendy color right now. This would also look amazing on porcelain skin, dark skin, any color skin, this one, I would say. And it's a really beautiful finish. It doesn't seem to bleed, doesn't seem to um, end up transferring a whole lot. So uh, yeah, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous lipstick. And uh, th there's one more in my favorites from the, uh, the same line. The Lasting Finish by Kate, and it is, uh, and by Rimmel London, yes, and it is number 11, Lasting Finish by Kate. Oh, it doesn't even have a name. Just number 11. Let me see. Huh, I thought it had a name. Nope, nope. And it looks like that. And this is the lipstick that I wore in my last video. And there were a lot of comments on this one. Uh, honestly, you guys, I don't know what to compare this lipstick to. It is the nicest on me red that I have ever, ever worn. Ever. So, um, yeah, this is my serious favorite darker lipstick. Beautiful, beautiful lipstick. And that one, like I said, was the Rimmel Lasting Finish by Kate. And I probably will go get a couple of these because I don't know, I don't think they're um, on the permanent line. And it's a beautiful, deep, deep uh, blue based, deep red. And like I said, it's that one right there. So that that goes for my uh, that's my favorite lipsticks of this season. Um, the ones that I wear the most are probably the last one that I showed you, the number eleven, which is the deep deep red. This one, the one I have on now, which is the fuchsia fusion lipstick, and the smooth taupe, the Maybelline. These are the ones that I wear the absolute most. Um, the other two really dark ones, I kind of save that for evenings out or whatever. And um, yeah, so that would be my favorite lipsticks. I only right now have one favorite. Oh no, I have two actually. But I'm using the box that this lipstick is in. Hmm. I'll have to show that in another video. But this one is the one that I use excuse me on a okay not sure where that cut off because that was my um, that's the downfall to using a phone camera when you are making a video if it rings you need to it just shuts right off it's kind of strange there should be a button for that anyway my favorite lip gloss that I have been using has been the Model Co. that I got in my birch box probably I think a month or two ago two months ago I think and it is the strip tease and it's a shine lip gloss and there's a mirror on there which is really handy but it is by Model Co. I just don't want you to want it to blind you and this one is a beautiful uh, mostly clear I think there is a little oops, I'm running out of room um there's yeah you probably won't be able to see this but you might be able to see how it shines it's not too overly shiny it smells so good it's like oh gosh i'm trying to i've tried to explain the smell before it smells like some kind of fruit <laughs> but i can't i can't pinpoint it but it's so oh my gosh it smells so good it's almost like a melon but it's called Striptease and it's the Model Co. 
and that is my favorite lip gloss and I reach for that no matter what I'm wearing because it's very sheer. It's got um, some definite sparkle in it but it's so minimal and it's a peachy, nudie, pinky color. It's just gorgeous. It's got like um, the sparkle in it is like a silvery, silver and gold color. It's almost like a really, really light, um, what is that called? Rose gold, almost. But it's very, very light. So anyway, guys, that is my favorite lipsticks uh, this season, fall and winter. And I love all of these lipsticks. They have been my favorite throughout all the months. If I had to pick one that would be my ultimate favorite, I would have to pick the Rimmel London number 11, and it is this one here. If you have the same skin tone as me, which is kind of a lighter olive skin tone right now, um, this, or sorry, not this one, but this one would look amazing on you. I love this lipstick, the, the Rimmel London that is. So anyway, guys, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. It's Friday and I'm happy about it. <laughs> so we'll talk to you very, very soon. Um, yeah, see you guys.